to go. In three. Yell it. Two. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. This is This Week in Sports. You know what time it is. It is time for the six or the seven or the eight or it's evening or it's night or it's morning. Who knows when you're watching this? Who knows when we recorded it? But when we are recording it, we are here with my our everyone's NFL resident expert, Max. Say what up to the people. Uh, what's up, everybody? I think that's a, that's a bit generous. I'm not uh, an expert. But Dude, you're I my think... expert. <laughs> okay, well, I guess Shit. I guess that's something. That counts Canadian. for something. <laughs> We're Canadians. Well, I mean, I probably know even less about the CFL. So. Here's the thing about the CFL. We'll get right into it right now. <laughs> we have an agenda, but the CFL this year has not, they haven't been pulling their weight like they did in years past because they're losing more fans than they're gaining. I, I mean, no, no league. No pro league has had such trouble like recovering from COVID since COVID. It is the tough. CFL kind of. I love the CFL. They kind of fell off. Don't get me wrong. Don't. I love the CFL. I used to. I go to the games all the time. I went to games multiple times a year. We'd have six to eight games depending on the season, and I went to at least seventy five percent of them. I, I loved it. It's well, a, I think it's a great experience. I think it's also like it's secondary though in Edmonton. So like when COVID happened, everybody is like wallets got the squeeze put on them. It was like the Elks games or like football games were just like the thing that you weren't doing for fun anymore because you couldn't afford to anymore. Yeah, well, and also the name changed. A lot of people didn't like. Yeah, including yeah. you know some people in this room right now. <laughs> Really? In- including some people on the, on microphones and on camera in this room. Is that you? No. Oh, it's not me. No, it's not. Oh, it's not. It needed to happen. <laughs> I, I'm glad they changed it. Why are you glad? Are we getting into this first thing? No, I'm no. just. No, no, no. No, no. No, we'll no. <laughs> no, no you're, our, you're our resident NFL expert. Okay, if you no say No one so. is coming here for our opinion on why we needed to change No, that's not what I was going to get into. I was just going to get into <laughs> the Elks suck. They do. Yeah. They, they do. And, and yes. <laughs> but I, 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 they're always, no matter what, they will always be my team, no matter what. Yeah. Can you imagine not winning a fucking home game in over a thousand days, though? It's like since 2019. Oh, what a huge also, play. Also, yeah, that was enormous. Okay. So, just for context, those that are watching, I appreciate you do watching. Uh, we're watching uh, some. Real football. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's savage. No, that's that is savage. No, <laughs> considering that um, we're Canadians. I'm Canadians, and I love the <laughs> CFL. And uh, believe it or not, I'll probably be um, <laughs> no, I'll probably be working for the CFL in some media or that or some capacity cool. in the future, maybe through the media, because that's something I would love to do. For the record, and before we get into anything, that was a great play. That was a huge play. By the Buffalo Bills, we're watching the Bills, the LA Rams uh, season opener. But talking about uh, opportunities and things about maybe you know moving along, I didn't tell you mm-hmm. that you know you know I, I I do the River Hawks right. Yeah, yeah, the the, the music or whatever. I did yeah. the music. I did some PA announcing for them. Right. I'm going into sports broadcasting. Uh, and I was looking into doing some hockey this 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 uh winter yeah and don't tell anyone but i got a gig doing some hockey this winter some junior a hockey junior a junior a like like, so the ajhl uh yeah like like saints and stuff no no i was it was funny i was referred to some of the saints but i got a call from the they're called the northern alberta tomahawks Oh, okay. And they play out of they play out of fucking uh, Enoch, <laughs> and I am stoked to be part of this. That's awesome. Man. Oh man, it was on my trip to BC, which we're gonna get into. We're gonna get into some NFL. We're gonna get into some MLB. We're gonna get into the Jays and all that, obviously. But um, yeah, no, I got this call on my trip to while well, I was in BC on my thirtieth birthday. That's a touchdown. Wow, way to go, Alan. Um, that my buddy that I used to work with. At Northlands, uh, work with at Northlands doing parking. Mm-hmm. One of my first jobs ever. Yeah, where I may or may not have uh, made some extra coin doing 
some shit that got me fired. <laughs> <laughs> right? I can't admit to crime. <laughs> He didn't. <laughs> that wasn't a crime. It wasn't a crime. It was just against company policy. Yes, yes. And what it was <laughs> is I was working the parking. I was working the parking, and I was able to allow people that weren't able to park in other places park in other places. You're insane. Yes, I know. Thank you very much. Thank Stop you. talking about it. <laughs> no, no. It was. It was. There, there was there was nothing involved. It was all good. And if you look into it any further, I appreciate you watching. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy you work with, he called you? Yes. Yeah, so this guy you used to work with, he tagged me in a post about the Tomahawks looking for a announcer, a play-by-play guy, which is what I ultimately... That's exactly what you want to do. That's yeah. exactly what I want yeah. to do. I want to do hockey, and I want to do fucking baseball. And the fact that it, like, it's, I was thinking about this today on my way home. I've had three gigs offered me, offered to me in my, in this year. And the year that I gave myself the goal or the deadline, by the time I'm 30, which I had crazy 30, 30th trip. Yeah. I'll tell you a little bit about it. Um, the same year I've had three jobs. Yeah, that's right. There was in the industry. There was the relay. There was Indian relay. Which I was on YouTube. It has over like five thousand views. There was the uh, Riverhawks, which I was on with all year. Yeah, not yeah. even doing. I was doing PA in the college games, but I was doing the music for the main games, and it was absolutely incredible. And now, what I what I was planning on doing, and I I needed to do, and I wanted to do, and it was the goal to do, was to get uh some hockey, get some hockey and and some experience doing. Mm-hmm. Hockey. Totally, yeah. Like, and now you're gonna. And you're now gonna I'm play. doing it. Are you? Are you like the whole season? Like they got the whole season. They have. Uh, they have 21 home games, and that's so sick. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, they're the the Northern Alberta Tomahawks. If you want to watch, uh, look them up. They're they're uh, junior A hockey, and their 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 uh, games they... are streamed on their website. I'll get more details. Do this is like do brand you know, new. Like what do they play out of a city? Like yeah, they they. All the home games are here in Enoch. Okay, they are. They're and and they have other games around Alberta. They're, they're away games uh, against the other teams. But the fact that um, I'm going to have this opportunity goes a long way, and I'm so fucking glad. Dude, that's super cool. Yeah. I'm excited for you. Oh, I thanks, hope that brother. works out. Oh, dude, it's, it's gonna, they're going to give me exposure. They're going to uh, sh- They're gonna have my name all, all over their social media. They have news releases and all that. And, uh, yeah, that's awesome. And it's going to obviously, beyond all of that, do you do you know what like league they play in? Is it the AJHL or is it like? It's the equivalent of that, um, as far as the junior level. Okay. It's junior A, so it's the highest A level. Uh, Below the WHL. Ju- yeah, it's it's the highest level of junior hockey, um, in in and around Alberta outside of the AJHL. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Yeah. No, that'd be awesome, and it's like good hockey. I mean, it, yeah, you know? exactly, and. It just adds to the resume the fact that they're going to have these releases, oh, totally, man. and um, I don't want to talk too too much about it because I mean it's it's brand new news and whatnot. But I'm super proud of it, and I wanted to. You should be, man. That's yeah. super cool. It's it's crazy that these opportunities are happening because of this podcast, and I thank you for being on it. Absolutely. Thank <laughs> thank you, studio <laughs> studio <laughs> audience. Started. Yeah. Um, but I just turned thirty. This is our, the first episode of me in my thirties. I think you're 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 in like you just barely turned twenty yourself, eh? <laughs> so I'll um, be twenty eight in two weeks. Yeah, so I just <laughs> turned thirty. I went on this trip to the mountains, and it was fucking incredible. And uh, yeah, you guys are youngins, <laughs> <laughs> just children, just children. <laughs> but the reason I have my golf clubs in the back here is because we didn't end up going golfing in the mountains and it was absolutely amazing but before we get to that i just want to just have on record what i did for my birthday weekend before yeah, i let's hear it yeah well the first night we were uh we got there late but we did rent a. I don't know if you know but we rented a range a range rover oh uh, yeah i did see uh, that yeah. evoke <laughs> i thought i thought that's what it meant i saw your status i wasn't sure if that's like oh no we rented a range I, I do it big when i when i go out of town yeah um i'm gonna tell you this the 
the app that we used, which is everyone needs to know. It's called Turo. I've heard of it. Yeah. It's the B- Airbnb for for, for cars. cars yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's awesome. And they don't have shitty cars on there. <laughs> oh shit. They so, they don't. That, so how, did you have the Range Rover like the whole weekend? I I had the Range Rover for five days for my thirtieth birthday weekend. We we rode down to Calgary Friday night. You've only ever had luxury cars. Yeah, yeah. We 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 had uh, a Lexus when we first rented it, the Mercedes, and then this time we had a, a Range Rover. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Way better than Enterprise. I believe that. Why would you go Enterprise when this shit exists? Yeah. Well, I mean, like, I feel like any of those established rental companies are not going to be as good. No, no and and also and you don't you don't get expensive. cars like this on. I think that's what Turo really identified. It was people are willing to pay a little extra to not only rent a car because they there's there's restrictions on how you can rent a car from these uh, normal rental places, but they also understood that people would pay a little bit extra to not only do that but also get a nice car, and that's yeah. what we've done. Every single time we've used Turo, is gotten a nice car. Yes, and it's all, and I've gotten, I've always returned it in as good a shape as I got it, which is brand new shape. In the same way that they gave it to me. Same way they gave it to me, yeah. just like, just like Airbnb. Yeah. It's just like Airbnb. You be good to them, they are good to you. And... Yeah. Okay, well, this sounds like a free ad for Turo, but it's. I was it's, just going to say. You oh, to... interception. Oh, oh, no, the Rams oh that, are, that's it. That's it. The Rams it. are done now. Yeah, the Rams, I think that's game. Anyways, Turo. Yeah. Yeah, if you want to sponsor email. us, no. Turo, Turo, please, please, please. I am, I am <laughs> one of your favorite fucking Turo, Turo, Turo. Email the main podcast email. Yeah, yeah, message exactly. <laughs> you guys have a podcast email? Of course. Hell yeah. Yeah, it's on the YouTube channel. Yeah, oh, yeah shit. it's on the description. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> They're both interlinked. Yeah, th- yeah. Just email the, the 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 channel. Turo, I love you. I do it all the time, and I got I got. Five star ratings. So does the other people. It's <laughs> we better check. check. My email, though. All right, dude, you better check our fucking email. <laughs> yeah, maybe we have like tons of people trying to sponsor. sponsor. Fuck you, man. The producer has like two or three jobs. Oh, these these are the days throughout the. Uh... This guy's looking at my notes. Okay, so the first day. What'd you do that night? You said because it was like you got. You said that night. You like started about the night, but then you're like went on about just the Range Rover. What happened the first night? What'd you do the first night? First night we got there late. We got there. We got to my cousin's house, Amy's cage exteriors. I'll give them a shout out on this one too. If you need a uh, exterior work Are on they your house, pay us? yes, they're gonna pay us. They did pay us. They ha- have paid us. They've had paid us. They paid it. They paid me handsomely on my birthday. We went out to the casino on the first night. We got down there. It was, it was like my birthday. Yeah, I, I was turning thirty. It was that night. Uh, well, it was you know the midnight, and we went off. I actually made decent amount of coin at the casino, which I never do. No, I've but, never won anything. Yeah, no, I don't win <laughs> shit. The casino just, it's not the. Well, it was your birthday, so they blessed you. Obviously. And yeah, I I, <laughs> I I made the dough that I that I that I uh, spent, and I made. I made it all back. The drinks are free and all that. And to me, when you're going to the casino, that's what it's about. Yeah, that's that's like best case scenario for me for sure. Me too. You have fun <laughs> and yeah, you and you don't actually you have spend. to. Yeah, you don't actually. It's have free to pay fun. For your drinks. Yeah, yeah. It's free fun. It's free fun. It's a free night out. It's a it's a free night out. What else more can you ask for? Exactly. At, <laughs> at bet. Well, for us, you too, eh? Yeah. So. Just don't be dumb. I wasn't, and I and I was up like a hundred and fifty bucks or something. I took my money and I was like, oh, "I'll pay for the drinks. Let's go." Don't be the idiot that sits at the fucking slot. But shout out, shout out to Greg and Amy for for buying some of my birthday drinks. They did do that. I will not. Yes. I love that. <laughs> Saturday. So we we had a whole plan for Saturday, my actual birthday. Mm-hmm. We were we were gonna go out to Richmond's. I'm shouting out these places, Richmond's, which has the best fries in Calgary. It's a, it's a bar, uh, and then we had a uh, dinner planned, and then we were gonna go to a comedy show, which was already paid for. The comedy show was already paid for, mm-hmm. so we went to Richmond's. 
I was uh, obviously still, when I woke up, I was still feeling the night before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I woke up, kept feeling my birthday. Yeah. Kept feeling my birthday, went out to Richmond's, came back to the cousin's crib. We all passed out early. Early. Wow. It was sad. <laughs> my birthday evening. <laughs> I'm snoring. <laughs> I'm Donsky. All the all the parties I always have, I'm always just done, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the first one out. It's sad. It's sad. Every party. Every fucking party, man. <laughs> it's sad. Doesn't got the party stamina. I got I get I get it started and then I'm <laughs> and then you're snoring. And then I'm snoring, I'm done, I'm out. And then I wake up at like, uh, it was like 10.30 or something. Or something. It was late. It was late. I was still hammered. I wake up Naomi. And I'm, oh no, Naomi wakes me up. I mean, I'll get that twisted. Naomi was trying to wake me up for like an hour. I was done skis. Does this happen when you turn 30? These guys don't know. They're young kids. (laughs) I guess when you turn 30, when you're me, you get shaken. You get shaken for like half an hour and you're sleeping. That's what happens. <laughs> that happened to me in my 20s. <laughs> Josh Allen, moving out. Oh, throws what? deep. Oh, no. Wait. Open. Oh, oh, no. Balls, oh, catches. Oh. Touchdown, Tyron Diggs. I, guess, I, guess, I think it's Stephon Diggs, but yeah. Stephon, Tyron. <laughs> Same yeah. shit. On. Stephon Diggs, yeah. Just to, just to really. Some context of where we are right now. No, no, I, I, I'm just, we're watching the, uh, the like Bills I said Rams earlier, the, the first game of the NFL season. That's why I have Max over. We'll get into our NFL picks. I just was practicing my call here because of, I have to call play by play. And yeah, I, that's you now. You're and a this is practice now. You're this a play by play guy now. Well, I mean, it's been practice the whole time. And now it's 30-10. Uh, so we called the Buffalo Bills over the uh, LA Rams. Yeah, that was my, produ- my prediction, yeah. Well, I asked you. I asked you your prediction. You didn't ask mine. Oh, I'm guessing you thought the same. Yeah, I did. Yeah, it was uh, tied tied at ten after halftime. <laughs> the Bills have scored 21 unanswered points. Yeah, that's but that was mostly because you know the interception right off the receiver's hands, and then the forced fumble. Of if if Buffalo didn't turn the ball over three times in the first half, there's no way LA even has a touchdown. So yeah, uh, back to the trip. Back, back, back to the trip. So, <laughs> so does Naomi get you awake? Yeah, she, she gets does. me awake on my birthday. It's late. It's fucking late. It's like, fuck. It's late. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like nine thirty, ten o'clock on my birthday night. I wake up. I'm like. Fuck. Yeah, my, the different. other cousins are are passed out. I think probably because they seen that I was passed out. Yeah, they're like he's crashed, crashed. So they went to bed, and it's like ten thirty. Right. But this is if people that people know me, and people that they're listening to this hopefully know me. If I'm out, I'm out for however long I'm out for. Yeah. And then we finally got me up at ten thirty. Luckily, she's solid as fuck like that. We went. Out to downtown Cragery because oh, we're like, we did go out again. well, we had to. I was like, this is my birthday. We have to go do something, yeah, right? Yeah. I mean, I, I guess we did some shit on on uh, d- during the day with with the cousins, uh, Amy and uh, cousin Greg. Yeah. Because I I seen videos. Do you ever have those times where you look at videos and you're like, oh shit, I don't remember that. I don't remember that. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember yeah. that. That was my birthday on on some of these videos, and. Uh, <laughs> Eventually, we did go to downtown that night, and we uh, hit up a couple bars on 17th Ave, had a great time with my sister Naomi, and obviously, we didn't drive. We're not fucking maniacs. We took, we took Ubers, mm-hmm. and uh, just we, we got a drink on, obviously, and we, we spit some freestyles <laughs> on the street. On seventeenth, uh, <laughs> in the in the main little park there, and people are like stopping and vibing. Th- these are just like moments I can remember. Yeah, like I don't remember the whole thing, but these are like flashes that I remember. 
like going into the zone rapping and my my sister Naomi rapping. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't believe nice. it. That would have been awesome to see. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it was crazy. She was actually like like doing some good fill-ins and whatnot. So that was Saturday. So we get back to uh, the, cr- the the crib late, late Saturday and pass out. It's, mm-hmm. I think, like 3 or 4 in the morning. Yeah. I have a tea time book for 11.20. 11.20 a.m. in Canmore. Canmore, right? That's the one. Yeah. yeah I always get, yeah. I got, I, I, even though I, Camrose and Canmore. Camrose and, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. I always get them confused even though they're completely different. So I had, I had a tea time booked at Silver Tip in Canmore for eleven twenty. I wake I'll, I'll never forget this. I wait I wake up, I see light. I'm like, what the fuck? I look at my fucking phone. I'm like, holy shit, it's ten thirty two. Canmore no. from from Calgary is like a fifty minute drive yeah, you- at the fastest, right? I wake up. I'll never forget it. I'm like, Naomi's sit, sitting on the couch next to me, or laying on the couch. I'm like, you have to get up now. We <laughs> yeah. got to go now. <laughs> yeah. So we gather up all, because this shit was already booked. Yeah. It's not cheap to go no. golfing in the mountains. We gather up all our shit and dip in, like, the, in like five minutes. And we're cruising there. I'm like, I don't know if we're going to make it. I give them a call on the road to Canmore, Silver Tip, and they're like, they're the coolest motherfuckers ever. They're like, you know, we have a we have a tea time at twelve fifty. I'm like, okay, book us in. We'll go to that. I couldn't believe it. So they 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 delayed us by like an hour and a bit. It made it Blast. perfect. Yeah. Made it perfect. We got there, grabbed the cart. My sister takes the cart around the around the court or, or around to the vehicle or whatever. I don't see her for a few minutes. I'm waiting at the at the part at the top there. We're like we're about to start. Yeah. I'm like where's this bitch? What's happening? The fuck's going on? And I see and then I see some uh, some of the workers on their walkie talkies and shit. <laughs> They're like oh, yeah, someone I seen like a single like this or something. <gasps> and then Naomi comes up, like probably like 15, 20 minutes later or something. I'm like, what happened? She's like, oh, nothing, nothing. <laughs> and then another, uh, like, one of the marshals or some of the workers there com- rolls up to me and and uh, spilt the beans. My <laughs> sister crashed the cart. Oh. Rolled the cart. <laughs> My God. Almost fucking died. Or... <laughs> and she just played. She's like, oh, nothing happened. Don't worry. Because she, she, she told the workers, like, don't tell them. Don't tell him he's going to ruin his birthday. Because I, I paid big money for this shit. This is like the highlight of my birthday. Oh, my God. Yeah. She's like, don't tell him. Don't do this because it'll ruin it. Right? So she was trying to play it off like nothing happened. <laughs> but being the idiot that she can be, you know, no hate on her. I can be the same. Because yeah. I almost rolled the cart the year prior. This yeah. was Silver Tip Golf Course. Yeah. And this is what I was telling you earlier. The amazing, amazing golf course in Canmore. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, I go. really want to go You there, should yeah. go. Yeah. And, uh. She rolled it, and long story short, there was a uh, a bunch more eyes on us during our round than normal, <laughs> and I think they made her sign something. Oh my god! So next time you see her, not only are you going to tell her or ask her about your backpack, yeah, but you should ask her about uh, rolling the cart too. <laughs> I'll ask her like what. What's the best brace position once you know the cart is rolling? <laughs> yes. Once you yes. know you're going over, like, how are you supposed to brace yourself? <laughs> Without breaking anything? Yeah. I was impressed. She came up with a breaking anything or a well, like, and you, and she, Oh, another interception. Oh, my God. That's like four. But Holy like, But, shit. like, the fact that she rolled up, she wasn't, like, covered in, like, dirt or, like, yeah. like you know, she didn't, like. No doubt. You know? She didn't mess herself up. And I couldn't believe it. Like, she had a bloody leg. And she looked a little fucked up, but well, actually, that's the first thing I saw. I was like, "What's with your What's with your knee? Why uh, is, just, there, why is there blood no, on it?" <laughs> yeah. So what a good sister, though. Tried to try to keep it from you, like no, nobody tell him. Like I got it. Don't worry. Yeah. Try to keep the stress off you. That's good. That's good. No, no, she 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 tried in that at that point. 
I think because of there were some other things that you did earlier in the uh, the weekend that may have may or may not have fucked with uh, fucked with the whole weekend. But it mm. wasn't the whole weekend. It was just wasn't any anything worth mentioning. But anyways, so that 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 uh, round at Silver Tip was amazing. It was fucking awesome, and. I don't know how well you do at golfing. Depends on the day. I had, I'm not going to lie, I had two, my, my best were two bogeys. That's not bad. I mean. Like, oh, thank you. Like, I, uh, I mean, like, when I used to play all the time, like, I would want to score 90, which is about bogey golf. It's about a bogey every hole. But now, if I broke 100, I'd be very happy with that. Which is like okay, thank which you. Which is like twenty eight. Yeah, I know. So. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. It made me feel it makes you feel a little better. Um, I mean, honestly, if I went out on a course right now, probably especially like Silver Tip, because that's like a real, a real course, not like one of those like, challenges. Yeah, it's not like par fours are two hundred and sixty yards. You know, they're like four hundred yards. So like they're around probably, bands. They're uh, they're yeah. down mountains. I would probably still on eighteen holes shoot like one fifteen then. Like, I'm not very yeah, good. Yeah, I didn't add up my score. And the funny thing is, for first time, I'm going to say it on this, for, for the first time ever, we missed a hole to ri- missed a hole writing it down. Whoa. Then you're like, oh, man. Then by the time you realize, it's like way Well, you know what it was? Oh, I got to tell you off air. I, I, scored, <laughs> I scored double digits, and my sister scored double digits, and it was... It wasn't ten what I scored. <laughs> it was anywhere from ten to ninety nine. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> so yeah, I'd have a bogey, then I'd have like an eight or nine the next hole. It was Long fucking story rough. short, you got to do everything you wanted to on your birthday weekend. I and did. It was fucking awesome, right? Well, the one thing I didn't do was on the Sunday we went to Lake Louise and we wanted to do canoeing. Mm-hmm. We wanted to canoe on it. And uh, as soon as we got there, the waves were all high. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They took all the canoes off, so we weren't able to do that. But uh, we were able to camp there and have a fucking great time for my thirtieth. That's was, good. Yeah, it was with my sister Naomi. Um, it was going to be with a bigger group of us, but uh, some people can get it off time work or get get time off of work, I should say, mm-hmm. and. Uh, so it it was just it just ended up being me, her, and my uh, my cousins in Calgary, and all in all, it was a, it was a great thirtieth birthday, and it's trippy to feel like I'm thirty. 30. Yeah, oh <laughs> yeah, yeah, no doubt. Before we uh, get into it any uh, any further, because I could talk all day about being thirty. Uh, the Blue Jays just went on a run. I don't know if you've seen any of that, Max. They've been, yeah, no, they've been uh, they've been playing like they can. Yes, they uh, they won three out of four against Baltimore. And before that, they won three out of four against someone else. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I know they've been they've been doing well. Yeah. Uh, the Orioles, their their crowds don't even like the the people down there. They don't even care about their team. No. Nope. That's gonna, why. That's why their like ownership can keep trading their best players, and you know, no one cares. How are they able to sustain a team there? Well, it's the same thing about Oakland. Like, how does Oakland keep their Well, the thing about now? Oakland now is the Raiders left. And... Or, or, no, the Athletics. No, no, the Athletics oh, are yeah, still there. now they're the only ones. But yes. I actually heard they had, like, 5,000 people at one of their games this year, and that's after the Raiders have already gone. Yeah, no, the uh, the Riverhawks actually outsold them the <laughs> one night. That's so fucking bad, man. Yeah. An Edmonton Collegiate team outsold don't don't hey team? don't don't hit on my team, okay? That's no, that's like, doing good for but our. But like team. we're in Canada, okay? I know. If a baseball team out here that's like levels below even Triple A is out selling your major league team, then you got like problems. Straight like, that's up, not good. <laughs> that is not good. Not at all. Like the producer sleeping on the job, but that's another story. Mm-hmm. But now, I mean, what do you think? Do you think the Jays have a chance? to win the division yes i do i think there's a chance too i mean that i think the yankees kind of run out of gas a little bit or no they got the injury bug for like the first time this year you know like 
and it's the wrong time for them to get that because they've been sliding for the last like exactly. month or so. Well, they got Aaron Judge and DJ LeMahieu, and everybody else is just like kind of dropping the ball. For them. Did DJ come back a little bit? All I've seen is uh, Aaron Judge. If yeah, if, if they're gonna if they're gonna win this division now, I think it's gonna be Aaron Judge hitting, you know, sixty five. Which would be crazy. I don't think I've like I can remember someone hitting sixty in so long. Do you think Do I think he breaks Babe Ruth's AL record? Yes. Yeah. Do you do think know. that's the ultimate record? Well his uh, not Babe Ruth's, but do you think George Maris's sixty one is the ultimate record? Or do you no. think Barry Bonds is seventy three? The seventy three is... is the ultimate. Always will be. It's the most e- ever. Well, even though it's 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 part of that era? Yeah. I still, I still consider it the run. Still, it's still the mark you want your your shooting for. And I honestly, I feel like Judge could do it. Like maybe next year or something, I could see him doing. You don't, you don't think he could hit the seventies this year? I think if he plays in a division that's not the AL East, he hits another ten. Probably. You're fucking nuts. If he didn't have to play such good teams so often, I feel like yeah, he'd probably hit another. That's saying something, dude. <laughs> that's 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 a pol- that's a bold fucking saying right there or statement. Well, the I mean the AL East like the Red Sox are like two games below five hundred, and that's the only team in the division under five hundred. Yeah, I know. No, we we do have the best division. We normally do. Um, I don't know about ten home runs. Maybe another five to ten, but yeah, well, maybe. All right, before we uh before we wrap it up here, before we get to this week in sports history. Before we get to some twish, let's get into what we're watching right now, some NFL. Uh, our predictions of tonight obviously came true. Yeah. Not even close, actually. It's I, not even close. It was a bigger win than I even expected, honestly. Yeah, yeah. I thought the LA Rams would put up more than 10 points, which they still might. We're, we're uh, down to the two-minute warning here. But the uh, the Buffalo Bills. Oh, man. They just came in like. They just fucking threw their dick down on the table, and it was bigger than everybody else's. <laughs> like, well, it was big, bigger than the other teams. It was I mean, definitely bigger than the Rams, I guess. Yeah, there's, I don't there's, see any other team matching up. Well, there's still teams. 30 other dicks in the league, so let's let's not fucking yeah, you know, size but it up can, yet. Can you realistically see any team like legitimately challenging the Bills? Yeah. yeah. Who, who do you think? Who do you think? What team do you think would give them the most like of a run? Like maybe the Bucks because Brady. Okay, well, why don't we get into the Super Bowl predictions? Here? Okay, okay. Right. Let's do two Super Bowl predictions here. Okay. And I don't give a fuck if they're from the AFC, both of them, or the NFC, both of them, or from. So I'll pick two teams. You pick two teams. We got to go back and forth though. Okay. Okay. So we don't pick the same teams. So well, my number one prediction is going to be the Bills. Okay, so you took mine. You fucking cunt. Um, (laughs) you fucking guy okay I'll go I'll go the Packers okay I'll I'll go Aaron Rodgers one last one before before it's over where's the pen uh, your picks Max I I got the Bills you got the Bills number one and then you're gonna use you said the pack eh I said the packs. Okay. Okay. What do you got for your? No, I, I get to go again because that's bullshit. Yeah, you, you take picks two and three. I take one. Of them. Yeah, yeah, because you fucking you just jumped on that. Oh, yeah, the oh, Bills yeah. pick, I, and I would I would have went with the Bills. <laughs> fuck you. Um. Fuck you. Fucked it up. I'm going the Buccaneers. The Bucks and what was? Sorry, what was your first one? The Packers. The Packers, okay. I'm going to say the Chargers. L.A.C. No, no, Vegas. The Vegas Chargers, isn't it? No, it's the Vegas Raiders. So, wait. Because it's the L.A. Rams. They have two teams. Oh, that they have, have two the same. teams now. They, they look, the... they look oh. like the exact same fucking team. Okay, yeah. I know. But I think I think the Chargers. Because Justin Herbert. Okay. Okay. Well, there we have it. We have our Super Bowl picks right now. You you wanted to do MVP picks because yeah. I felt like you were confident in that. Well, I think I think we do two two again. 
But you do you go first and fourth, and I go second and third. Okay. Well, de- based on my picks for who's winning, I got some oldies both my picks. Okay. I'm gonna hedge my bets by doing using some of the youngies here. Right. I'll go. Josh Allen for MVP. That would have been my first pick. Yeah, fuck you. You took my first pick. <laughs> um, so that's that's the um, it's the regular season MVP. So even if it's he can even be off a team that I don't think is going to win. Yeah. So for picks t- for pick two, I'll go Cooper Cup. You got Cup. Uh, and then uh, for pick three, I'll go Justin Herbert. You got Herbert. Yeah, they're down. They're good. I got uh, Josh Allen, and I got for the MB- MVP this year. I got a uh, cup is a good pick. I mean, I would. I already, I already took another quarterback. I'm gonna go. No, I was going to go Hill, but he's on Miami now, eh? He is, but they got Tua Tungavailoa. 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 I don't, you can't even pronounce his name. I don't know who Tua Tungavailoa. <laughs> Tua Tungavailoa. <laughs> Tua Tungavailoa. Yeah, that's how you say it. I'm pretty sure. Okay, well, that's not going to be my pick. <laughs> <laughs> I got to be able to spell my pick. Yeah. I'm going to go off. I'm going to go another quarterback. It's going to be crazy. Tom Brady's going to win another MVP. At 45. That would be nuts. I'm calling it right now. This week in sports, bitches. <laughs> okay. Well, before we uh, fin- wrap it up here, i got to say thanks to Max for being here. Thanks for, thanks for uh, having me, man. Thanks for uh, you, you giving us your professional insight on this. This is a crazy game. It, it wasn't even worth it. The first um, half was crazy. The yeah. second half was crazy, but just because of how much Buffalo ran away with it. Like, it's 31 to 10, folks. I know. It's, it's, it's a, the game's over. But I have to do Twish this week in sports history. Right. On this day, on this week in sports history, it was September 7th, 2002. So 20 years ago. At the U.S. Open. Where very me- very well, Serena Williams may have finished her career. Uh, Serena Williams wins her second U.S. title, and she beat her older sister Venus Williams oh in two God. sets. Jeez. That's how we'll end it right now. Uh, we'll go on. A, we would go on a little bit more, but I got to urinate, and I got to wake <laughs> up my producer. That's it for this week in sports. Peace. Thanks to Max. Appreciate boys. it. Got to get you back on here, man. Absolutely. All right.